You have to understand if you don't execute on the plan, if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself. You're cheating your family. You're cheating your employees. You're cheating your team, whatever you're a part of. It's bigger than you, man. Hard work works, y'all. See, some of you have dreams and goals, but hard work, you can't get around it. I wish there was a magic wand that I could wave that your passion, your dream, that thing you want to achieve, it could just happen, but it can't. Hard work is required. What do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You got to outgrind them. You got to get up earlier. You got to stay up later. You've got to execute and you've got to go from 70 to 110. I think a lot of people feel this enormous pressure to achieve this millionaire, billionaire status somewhere in your 20s, 30s, 40s. It is very difficult. It is for very few and far in between. I don't wanna, I hope everybody understands. If you put in 18 hours a day, every day of your life, and you suck shit, you lost. You know why I'm sitting here right now? Because I outworked you. Zoom in, I outworked you. Before I ever stood on a stage, I cleaned one at an old Baptist church. When everybody left, I stayed vacuuming when nobody was there. That's how I got the microphone. I didn't get a microphone because I can talk the best. I didn't get a microphone because I can sing the best. I got a microphone because serving kept elevating me everywhere of my life. Because we all think that if we pray on it, if we do this, if we do that, whatever, we don't work, we just, whatever, it's going to magically happen for us. No, I believe that when I'm all said and done with, my whole job is to outwork the chart. Gotta keep putting in the work every day. One is better than zero. Gotta keep putting in the work, putting in the work, putting in the work. The hard work matters and the patience is what overrides it. You gotta work. What happens? What happens if you wake up 30 days later and you're there? What happens if you wake up 60 days later and the change is coming? You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna wake up 60 days later, 90 days later, and everything's gonna change but you. And you're gonna get the same results you got before it happened because you're the exact same person. So work, work while you wait. You cannot stop. We all have greatness. It just, you gotta find the courage. You gotta find the courage to put your Bose headphones on and silence the noise out of this world and to find it. And to find it because it's out there, but it's gonna take hard work, courage, self-discipline, it's gonna take all the non-cognitive skills, the, all the non-cognitive skills to be great. You know, smart is good, all this stuff is good, that's all cognitive. It's the non-cognitive skills that set you apart from everybody else. And, and that's what it's all about. Now, I don't know what your goal is, but I want you to visualize it right now. And repeat after me with power and conviction. Let us say together, it's possible. Together, please. It's possible. Say it again, please. It's possible. See, that's the first step. I want you to think about this goal that you want. I want you to envision it and see it in your mind's eye. And every day, say to yourself that it's possible. See, most people are not accumulating wealth. Most people are living in poverty. Most people are living far below their potential. Not because they don't have the capacity, not because they have not been given authority and dominion over everything on the face of the earth, but most people are living like they're living because of the fact that they don't believe they can have any more than what they now have. Listen to me very clearly. Every A is not an A. I don't care how much you can jump on Google and get the answer and get your report card or your grade sheet or your teachers or your school to think that you're getting the A. If you're cutting corners, if you're taking shortcuts, every A is not an A. You're not robbing anybody else but you. So I need you to work while you wait. I need you to work. Look, work on your focus, perspective. I need you to see difficult differently. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I need you to see it differently. You know, five steps to greatness. No, <laughs> it ain't that, brother. You read my book, this is hard work. It's every day. There's so many people who want to leave that can't follow. I I'm, I'm saying this because everybody wants to get to the top. If you're trying to get on top, I need you to work. 
the level you're on right now. Can, can you clean bathrooms? Can you, can you sing for the kids? Maybe singing for the kids might be the thing that gets the whole world knowing your name. But because you think it's small and insignificant, you won't even do it. Just keep working. If you were told you were going to get that promotion, just keep working. If you were told you were going to win that championship, just keep working. Nobody said it would be easy. Again, if it was easy, everybody would do it. So I need you to work on your faith. I need you to work on your faith. I need you to wake up every day and say, today ain't the day, but my day coming. And I will not give up. And I will not give in until I get to that day. I will not stop. I will not give up. I will not give in until my day come. You have enough right now to flip this world upside down. You have enough. You got enough power. You got enough anointing. You got enough grace. You got enough patience. You got enough gifting to make your money. Get out of debt. Get yourself together and change everything about your world. For the things that I'm wanting and believing, I just have to do everything possible that's within my power. And there's some things that aren't within my power, and that's where I trust God. But what isn't within my power, it's whether it's getting the proper sleep, whether it's learning your lines, whether it's researching the character, whether it's working out or eating healthy or, you know, whatever it is that you need that's going to make you better at what you want to do. It's doing every single bit of that that you can possibly do and, and going above, you know, not just doing just enough to get by, but going above. And, um, and then after that, it's like, if it's supposed to happen, it will happen. And chances are, if you do the work, it likely will happen. It's about whatever you think you are, you have to make that dream a reality. But that's where the hard part is, is making that dream a reality. That's where the hard work comes in. That's where people know, how do you keep crying every day? You have to make those insecurities, those fears. Like when I was 300 pounds, I didn't have any drive. I'm gonna go be a Navy SEAL. What kind of stupid shit is that, 300 pounds? It wasn't like a drive to go be a Navy SEAL. I was an insecure, lying kid, afraid. I had to look in my insecurities and in my fear and find drive in that. You're all looking for passion. Passion is all around you. You have a whole stack of it all around you. It's your insecurities, all that it's, it's all in there. All the energy and fuel you need is right in yourself. It's all there. You got a lot of stuff to do to overcome. And you know, that's where I found it. I found it right there in my own insecurities. I found drive in my own insecurities. And that's, that's the most powerful thing in the world. When you can find drive in your own doubt, fear, insecurities, you become very unstoppable. I need you to work on yourself. Are you hearing me? Look, you can't change what you can't change. Stop trying to change the situation. It's not yours to change. Stop trying to change your wife. Stop trying to change your husband. Stop trying to change your kids. Stop trying to change your boss. Stop trying to change the program. If you could change it, it would be changed. There's only one person you can change, baby, and that person is you. Work on yourself.